Welcome back guys to another video and today we're taking a look at another unit mod for Total War Warhammer and this is the Glory to Bretonia mod and uh, right now we're also on my new PC and look at the FPS in the top right, 128, I think we might hit 130 here in a second maybe, oh we got 129, but let's, uh, let's see, so right now we're on the ultra settings, I've turned the grass down to high because grass is a killer in, uh, in this and you know what, it still looks pretty decent, uh, pretty much everything's on ultra though. Uh, everything that needs to be on ultra. The anti-analyzing is on MLAA because it just seems to work best on here. And of course I'm on the GTX 1080. I got a 1080 instead if you didn't know. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Take a look at some of these units here. And right in front of us here we have some King's Guard, which are a great sword unit I guess. And uh, they look pretty cool. They have these huge armor pieces I think. Um, Oh, what's his name? Carl Franz wears, I think, maybe? Because it's a Sigma on the front there. So I think that's how they've created this unit. But it looks really, really nice. In my opinion, at least. A very cool looking unit. Behind them over here, we have some of these Cavalier. Which, again, another cool unit. Uh, really cool looking one. They have these Dwarven shields to carry around. They also have these really, really cool looking swords. Look at them. They have, like, snakes wrapped around them. They are so cool. So really, really nice. I like these unit mods where they, like, mishmash a bunch of stuff together. And then behind these, we have some, what are these? These are Champions of Bretonia. Again, another great sword unit. Really cool looking. They have, like, these little skull, um, kind of wax, or what are they called? Wax sealed. Like a wax seal onto their armor. It looks really, really nice. And in front of them, we have, I believe these are the halberdiers. We have, yeah, so the armored halberdiers are pretty much... They are just an upgraded version of the Bretonian Men at Arms, if you know what they are. And to the right of them, we have some Bretonian Swordsmen. These are, again, another upgraded unit of the, like, these new armor pieces, some shields along their body and stuff. Really, really cool looking. And behind these, we actually have some Rangers, which are another archery unit for Bretonia. And to the right of these swordsmen, we have some spearmen, Bretonian spearsmen, with, again, the armor upgrades and a couple new cool cosmetic stuff on them. Really, really cool units. And, of course, as always, we have the vampire cows, which actually have a couple of new units into their faction. Well, actually, that's one, actually. And this is this unit here, which is the crossbowmen for the vampire cows. And these are basically the only range unit for the vampire counts, and they look really, really cool. I do like their armor pieces. They look so cool, and they are very deadly. They cost a thousand to actually purchase, so you can tell that they're going to be pretty OP in this game. So let's go ahead and actually see if we can reform to their position now, because they've actually moved. I was hoping they were going to deploy down there, but they've deployed up there this time. So that's fine. We can adjust to that. And that's no big deal. And are they going to camp? I think they're just going to camp on that hill, so we're going to have to push up here. But yeah, oh my god, my PC's so good. Like, honestly, I've been um, playing loads of different games today on Ultra. Like, I played Armor today at Ultra, and I got, like, 80 FPS, a solid 80 FPS throughout the whole time I was playing. It was really, really, really cool. But as you can see, like, over 100 FPS, everything's on Ultra pretty much. It is such a good PC, and it took me 8 hours to build. I don't know why it did, but I had to, like, rejig a couple of stuff on my PC, because um, one of the, um, what they called, one of the drive bays was in the way of my fan. So I had to move it, and then I could install the radiator, which was cool in my CPU. It's really hard to explain, and I, I might make a video on it if I ever do, like, a setup video, um, because it, it was quite funny. Uh, but yeah, it works out pretty good, and right now my CPU's sitting at like 40 degrees, uh, degrees Celsius, which is actually pretty decent considering how CPU intensive this game is. Um, when I was playing Armour, it didn't go above 30 as well, so that was very good, 30 degrees. So the cool is doing very, very nice, and uh, it's keeping everything nice and cool, as it should be. <laughs> Haven't tried rendering videos yet, so this will be the first video I actually render, um, so we'll see how well that does. If you can hear birds in the background, I do apologise. Just got my window open because it's so hot today. Oh, we've got a unit back here, which I forgot about. Which one's this? These are the... Armoured Halberdiers. Yeah, we already went over those, I'm pretty sure. So they're going to run up here in just a second. In fact, let's, uh, let's speed this up because otherwise we're going to be here for a long, long time. And I want to try and get as many videos out as possible in the next couple of days. So I'm going to do quite a few recordings today. 
Okay. So I think we are now ready to start charging forth our units here. Oh, these got some skeleton warriors. Send some of these up. Got some of these. And we'll also send our cavalry on the back here. So then we can outmaneuver them. We'll get these guys into range. Okay. Look at these vampire counts. The skeletons. Hopefully it looks all good. But uh, I've done a couple test recordings, like I say. So we should be good. But I am loving my new PC so far. Can't believe that I can play armor on Ultra with 80 FPS plus. Bit of magic as well in the background there. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh my god. Did I kill all of them? No, they're getting back up. Awesome. But yeah, look at these crossbowmen. Really, really cool unit. Oh, the skeletons are actually marching forward now. Where's Leon Leonka? Where are you? Did I leave him back there? I guess not. But yeah, here we go. Getting into some action. A bit of magic going off as well on these spooky, scary skeletons. Let's uh, charge our cavalry in now, see how well they can do against these crossmen. I want to ideally get rid of these as fast as possible because they're going to be doing the most damage here. Because the rest of my guys should be fairly good. Let's uh, see if we can get like a cool little view from here. Oh, look at that. Into the back of the spearmen. Awesome. How do I get out of this camera? Am I out of it? Yeah, I'm out of it. Okay, cool. Well, we've got a kind of bunched up here, every single one of these guys. Hopefully we can get rid of this unit, and then we can start to focus. Oh my god, why didn't I go for these? I swear I set these guys into the um, the archers, but I guess not. Oh, look at that. Unit collision is so good in this game. I can't wait to see the next couple of Total War titles to come out with this unit collision. I really hope they do another maybe medieval game or even a uh, another Napoleon one maybe. That would be cool. Okay, I think they're routing. But we're going to just charge them up anyway. Knock them down when they run. Leave no one alive. In fact, I don't think we can leave anyone alive because these other vampire counts are going to evaporate into the sky no matter what. But look at that. I think we have victory. I think we may have victory. That is amazing. Look at these units. So cool. As always, if you want to download these, they'll be in the uh, description so you can go check them out. But they are really, really cool looking. Especially these guys. They are so cool. Okay. Let's go charge these guys forward. you got to give these guys credit. They're still holding on against my cavalry, but I don't think they're going to hold on for much longer because the whole of Bretonia is coming over to fight. Let's uh, let's get Leon Leonka to actually sort this vampire lord out because otherwise I feel like he's going to be here forever. And here they go, evaporating into the sky. Come on, Leon. Isn't he running? What's he doing? There we go, now he's running. Oh man, look at these guys. Ooh. They cast their curses on us. Some really cool sounds in this game. Look at that guy. What a badass. Alright, let's send all of you guys onto this vampire lord here. Who is absolutely destroying our guys. Is he dead? Oh, he's there. Where is he? Oh, there he is. We did it. I think. Did we? Oh, no, he's still alive. What the hell? Look at him. He is absolutely destroying. He has to be dead now. 
He's used a bit of magic. Oh, and here comes big man Leon. Big man Leon Leon Kerr coming in. He's just looking at him. Oh, Leon, you just nearly killed half your own men. What are you doing? Oh, dear. He's done it again. <laughs> he just nearly... He just keeps trying to kill his own men. Uh, I don't think... Oh, he's just killed... It. Oh, no. That poor guy. Oh, he's getting back up. That's all right. Uh, can someone tell Leon that uh, that's, that's our own guys here? Oh, he's dead. There we go. Victory. You're victorious. The corpses of the enemy litter the ground. And those still able to flee do so with the law. What the? Oh, the, oh. Oh, the laughter of our gods. Okay, ringing in their ears. I was like, what? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the stats here. 131 from the cavalry. Really good cool unit. Uh, let's see. They, who's the most on theirs? Uh, the Brothers of uh, Blood Crossbows. Actually got a Chevron upgrade as well. Really cool. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And I will see you next time.